What's good on guys, Billy here, and today I'm gonna walk you through how to calibrate the compass and the IMU on your DJI Mavic Mini. Chances are, if you stopped by this video, it's because you're having some sort of issue with your drone and you wanna calibrate either of these sensors, so I'm gonna cut the fluff and just get right into things. To provide a little bit of context here, the Mavic Mini has various different sensors that are crucial to its operation. Two of the most important are the compass and the IMU, both of which require some sort of calibration that needs to be done to ensure your drone flies correctly. Now the onboard compass simply tells the drone which way it's flying, pretty much just like a handheld compass would work. Now the times that you would need to calibrate the compass include when the app prompts you to, which will be prominently displayed in the top left corner, before you fly your drone for the very first time out of the box, after traveling with the drone in a vehicle, after any minor or major crashes, and if you find that your drone just isn't flying properly. The IMU, on the other hand, is a bit more complicated complicated to explain. It stands for the Inertial Measurement Unit, and it's a single electronic unit that houses two different sensors. The first is the accelerometer triad, which ultimately deals with the acceleration of your drone, while the second is the angular rate triad, which detects changes in rotational attributes such as pitch, roll, and yaw. If that explanation went right over your head, the IMU essentially compiles information and data to keep the drone balanced during flight. Times when you would need to calibrate the IMU include when the app prompts you to, which would be prominently displayed in the top left corner yet again. Also, before you fly your drone for the very first time out of the box, after any major or minor crashes, and if you find that your drone just isn't flying properly. The frequency at which you perform these calibrations is entirely situational. I know that some people will say you should calibrate the compass on your drone before each and every single flight, and I find that to just be overkill. Typically, I calibrate the compass when the app is telling me to, or if something happens to it, like I've already listed in the beginning of this video. Now, in terms of the IMU, I've only calibrated the IMU on most of my drones once, and that was right when I got it out of the box, and it's been fine after that. I haven't had many crashes, but again, follow that list, and that's gonna tell you when you should calibrate the IMU on your drone. Now, in terms of how to perform these calibrations, starting with the compass, you'll head into the DJI Fly app, tap on the three dots in the top right corner, tap on safety, and then scroll down to the sensor section. Next to compass, you'll see its status, which right now is normal. And to calibrate, we just simply tap on calibrate. Now we need to put down the remote, grab our Mavic Mini, and follow the on-screen instructions. First, we spin the drone horizontally with the belly facing the ground. And then once prompted through the app, we move on to spin the drone around with the camera facing upwards. The app will let you know when the compass calibration has been completed, but just as a pro tip, you can actually refer to the back LED to determine what the status of your calibration is. If the light is yellow, that means you have to proceed with spinning the drone horizontally. Once the light turns green, it's time to move on to spinning the drone vertically. And then once the light begins blinking green, then you'll know you've finished the compass calibration. Just to give you guys two quick tips regarding the compass calibration. First of all, don't calibrate your drone next to any metal, and also don't calibrate your drone next to any electronics. Both of those items will throw off the compass calibration, and sometimes it'll actually tell you that the calibration failed. You'll notice when I was calibrating my compass, I was out pretty much in the middle of a field, but sometimes you don't have that luxury, so you just have to do the best that you can, and if you're near like a metal railing or if you're near some sort of electronic device, just step backwards. Now moving on to the IMU calibration, we head on over to the DJI Fly app once again, tap on the three dots in the top right corner, then go to safety and scroll down to the sensor section. After tapping on calibrate, the app will then give you directions upon how to orient your drone and once each step is completed, you then move on to the next step. With all the legs folded together, we'll start by leaving the drone on its belly, then we'll roll it over to the right side, then flip it over to the opposite side or the left side, then stand the drone up on its back side, then lay it flat on its top side so that the camera is pointed upwards. Once the calibration is complete, the aircraft will then restart. So you might have seen me struggle a little bit there with the propellers on the Mavic Mini during that IMU calibration, and it's to be expected because these things flop around like crazy. Here's the thing though, you can actually leave these propellers on during the IMU calibration. It's not going to affect the actual calibration whatsoever. And also, I would hate to have to unscrew each of these eight propellers 
and then have to re-screw them back on. I really do wish they had the quick release props on this drone, but as we know, that would only add weight. Anyway, guys, I hope you learned how to calibrate the compass and the IMU in your drone. If you've got any questions, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.